Greetings, and welcome to Rudy Eats. Today, I'm feeling saucy. And I'm feeling saucy because I got some sauce. I have today for your submitted, for your approval, Secret Aardvark Trading Company. Aardvark Habanero Hot Sauce. I absolutely love the fact that they have a gigantic blue aardvark sticking his nose uh, into a bottle of hot sauce there. It makes absolutely no sense, and I love it. Um, let's see what I can read about this. Uh, shake well. Uh, contains white wine vinegar, ooh, roasted tomatoes, habanero peppers, like habanero, onion, carrot, sugar, prepared mustard, water, kosher salt, cornstarch, herbs, and spices. For recipes and other secret info, Contact www.secretardvark.com. Ardvark is spelled A A R D V A R K because I would have messed that up myself. Um, world flavors produced locally, not your usual hot sauce. A unique Caribbean Tex Mex hybrid made with flavorful habanero peppers and roasted tomatoes. Great as a sauce, marinade, or holistic cure-all. Aardvark completes you. Wow, that is awesome. I love the label, I love the name, I love the little spiel on the back, so shake it up, give a squirt. It's kind of a thick sauce. Ooh. Smells awesome. Uh, you can smell pretty much everything that they list on the label. You can smell in it. The onions, the uh, habanero, the tomatoes. Get a little carrot in there, too. Wow, this is really making my mouth water. I'm going to uh, have a go with that. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That's that's excellent. There's a lot of flavors going on in that, and they all perfectly complement each other. They they transition well one taste into the next. The uh, white wine vinegar is uh, it's subtle, it's not overpowering, it's not even the first thing you taste. It uh, does come up in it a little bit, but it uh, gives it a nice acid that complements the, uh, the sweetness because uh, it's not overly sweet. There's just a little the right amount of sweetness, because I don't like uh, like syrupy uh, stuff, but uh, the uh, the carrots I think are what's giving it a lot of the sweetness. Um, but yeah, that's good. Uh, you get sort of a, a tangy, sweet, acidic flavor going on. Uh, the roasted tomato comes out very nicely. Um, you can actually taste the habanero in there. Um, and the uh, the pepper and uh, spices that they threw on uh, and the onion all kind of help to blend everything together, give you a nice little uh, flavor profile that it's complex uh, without uh, confusing your palate, if that makes any sense. Um, you can pull out several different flavors one at a time, sort of. And uh, it's, it's very interesting and uh, it's complex, but it, not any single, it, they're not muddled. 
uh, each flavor stands on it on its own, each component, and uh, none of them are overwhelming. There's not one specific flavor that stands out uh, more than the rest, so nothing gets overshadowed. Uh, wow, that's really good. I'm going to have some more of that. really really good it's it's tangy sweet uh, the habanero a little bit of almost a fruitiness um, yeah and uh, all the uh, the it's sort of a, a puree almost so you can uh, it has some uh, some weight to it in thickness wise but it's not a syrupy thickness it's uh you get uh, like uh elements of the uh, the ingredients in there like the pulpiness from the tomato and whatnot so even texturally it's interesting um i'm thinking that would make a really good marinade on some chicken if you're gonna do some grilling uh yeah that's really good the only my only complaint is uh it's not cheap uh this is a, a fairly decent sized bottle but this was uh 860 so uh, but if you think about it uh, uh, something that's uh, you know like an artisanal small batch uh, production like that like a micro brew that's a pretty decent sized bottle for that price I guess I mean if you're used to paying like 450 for like a liter of Tapatio or something, then, you know, it might be a little steep, but, uh, as far as heat, uh, it's kind of hard for me to gauge right now, um, because I think my tolerance is a little high, but, uh, because I've been eating a lot of sauce, uh, sauces lately, I've just, I've been on a kick, I've had, uh, a lot of people buying me some, but, I'm going to say that that's about, if somebody who was not into sauces and, and peppers were to try that, they would say it was really hot, but it's doable. Um, for the casual user, if you want something that will stretch you temperature-wise, uh, this has a pretty good kick to it, um, but it's not going to blow anyone's mind. Uh, it's not it's not so over the top that um, someone is gonna freak out over it. That's good. I'm thinking maybe uh, pineapple chunks and uh, some chicken and let that marinate for a while. Oh, it'd be so good. Glaze the chicken with it as it's grilling. Mm, mm, mm. That is good times. So. Highly recommend Secret Aardvark Sauce, and uh, check them out. Um, where are they based out of? They are in Portland, Oregon. So, our brothers to the north. So, check them out, and I will see you the next time that I do this thing that I do.